What are you at, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Lycos, and this is my No Man's Sky Combat Guide for 2023. I'm going to be showing you the most effective multi tool weapons and ship weapons, and also giving you a bunch of combat tips and tricks. Now, the best multi tool weapons, in my opinion, are the Pulse Spitter and the Scatter Blaster. The Pulse Splitter is basically a submachine gun, and the Scatter Blaster is basically a shotgun. These are both very effective for taking on sentinels and you're going to be destroying enemies very quickly if you have these weapons with some S-Class mods attached to them. Now make sure when you're adding your upgrades to your weapon that you're putting them next to each other because that'll give you a bonus and make sure you're using those supercharged slots so you're getting even more of a boost to your damage. Now the best tip that I can give you for fighting sentinels is to make sure that you take out the healers first. Whether you're fighting the corrupted sentinels or the regular sentinels, there's usually going to be healers in the group and you're going to want to take them out as quick as possible. As I said before, the scatter blaster is very effective close range, but I do prefer the pulse spitter because it does have a little better range and it has a really high rate of fire. If you're going to want to have the best multi-tool for damage, you're going to want to get the new sentinel multi-tools that came out in the interceptor update. Now I have a full guide on the new interceptor update which shows you how to get these multi-tools and I will link that at the end of this video. Now let's get into the ship combat. The two ship types that I recommend the most for ship combat is either the fighter or the new interceptor. These are maneuverable ships with some very good damage. My favorite ship weapons are the infra knife and the positron ejector. The infra knife is a high rate of fire minigun and the Positron Ejector is a close range shotgun weapon. Again, the same as your multi-tool, you're going to want to get some S-Class upgrades for these weapons and you're going to want to put them next to each other so they get that bonus and of course the supercharged slots will give you much more damage. I would also highly recommend getting some shield upgrades. Some S-Class shield upgrades will really help you with survivability. I like both the Positron Ejector and the Infra Knife some of my ships have the infra knife, some of them have the positron ejector, they're both amazing weapons. Probably the fighting style that I use the most is with the infra knife because I do like to have a little bit of extra range on my weapons and then I combo this with the rocket launcher. The minigun is super quick at getting rid of shields and then I switch over to the rockets for a big blast of damage and then I'll finish them off with the infra knife. Now you don't need to use the rockets, the Infra Knife is a very capable weapon on its own, but this is just my personal playstyle. Now as for the Positron Ejector, I love this weapon as well, it does a ton of damage, but you do need to be fairly close and personal to use this weapon. Now one of the best tips that I can give you when it comes to ship combat, is when you're fighting other ships, make sure that you're hitting the brakes. Hitting the button to slow down your ship during a fight, you automatically track the enemy ships. So if an enemy ship has just passed you and now it's beyond your ship, you just hit the brakes and it will automatically track that ship and spin your ship so that it's targeting right at the enemy ship. I use it in every single dogfight. Now if you're going to want to get your hands on one of the new interceptor ships, they look amazing and they're very good combat ships. It's a very good idea to start taking on the Sentinel capital ships. Now as I said before, I have a full guide on the new Interceptor content in No Man's Sky, so if you want to check out how I hunt down Interceptor ships very quickly, don't forget that that video will be linked at the end of this one. Now as for taking on the Sentinel capital ships, these are actually pretty easy. I ignore the small Interceptor ships because they're just going to run away after you get the capital ship taken out. And then I stick to one side of the capital ship, strafing back and forth, making sure to take out the turrets first, and then finish off the ship. Now the one last tip that I highly recommend for ship combat is to make sure that you have something on you that can quickly recharge your shields. You want a really good stockpile of either sodium or batteries, and then when your shields are down, you're going to go into your quick menu and be able to quickly recharge your shields. This is crucial for surviving any tough fights. Alright guys, that's it for this one. I hope you got some useful information from this video. Hit that like button if that's what you're into. 
Thank you all for watching, and as always, stay where you're at, and I'll come where you too. Later, everyone.